to create an interactive quiz. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths, and I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build your audience on social media and video. So as you can see, you could do something like, you know, what kind of video creator are you instead of writer? Or what's your blogging style? Is vlogging right for you? So let's have a look at this one. So you can take the quiz, are you motivated? Yes, do you like to write? Yes, do you like to read? Yes, are you good at using the internet? Yes. Okay, so that's you know fairly straightforward. Let's have a look at some of the others. There. So it kind of gives you an idea of who you are and it gives you a personality. So let's go with this one.
So you can share and embed. Okay, so we don't want to finish it yet. So you literally, what kind of video creator are you? I would change this image. So I'd have, use an image of video. You can search for some images. I decide that doesn't work. So you can change it again. So as you can see, it's super easy. Or you can upload your own. Okay, so then you can change this color. You can then um, go to the next section. So you can change the color down here. So if I go to my colors, so if I want, let's say I go for the, let's just have a look. So you can do something like that and then you can also, it's just, so then from that you can change the content. So quiz title, we've changed the cover image, description, start button text we've changed, then the questions. So what statement describes you best? So, you know, some of these you might decide you want to kind of tweak a bit. So you change um, a little of the info, the question title. You could have the image, change the image. And you go down for each one. Um, and so, you know, so you can make, you don't have to stick to this format, you could use image answers, so you basically then add in an image to each one, so then, or something like office, see what comes up. And so essentially you can then add in each of the um, images throughout this and you, you go all the way down. You can add in another question if you want to. 
So you choose like choose the statements. So you can map it all out. You can map it all out before you even start this by thinking, okay, I'm going to ask five questions and each one is A, B, C, D and E. Um, and literally once you're done with that, you just press publish. And so you say publish changes. And that's it. And now it's saying, how do you want to promote it? So you can embed it in your website. You can take the direct link. You could um, put it as, uh, you know, on your website as like in, in the kind of bar above the um, navigation bar. Use it as a pop-up. Put it on your, um, as a Facebook ad, as a way to kind of generate um, traffic that way. Um, people always can't resist a quiz. So there's lots of things that you can do to to really start thinking about who you are and how you engage with people. And people are tired of like, get a freebie, but they're always up for a quiz. And the key for you is to work out what quiz type is best. And that's the thing that takes the time. So it's kind of really tapping into um, what your audience needs. And once you know that, you're much more able to create better quizzes and therefore answer their queries, answer their questions and give them the answers in the products and services that you provide. But the quiz enables them to kind of tap into their pain point. And what is their pain point? That's the question that you, um, you want to ask yourself on a constant basis. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build your business, grow your following, and create a life you love. Mm -hmm.